crafters and welcome to Creative Moments by G. So happy that you stopped by today. This is our Level Up Your Techniques series. We are so excited about this. We will be presenting techniques that you can use to embellish or enhance your cards that you give to your friends and family. Today's technique is called Suds and Bubbles. So let's head down to the crafting table and let's get started. First thing you need to do is go ahead and prepare your base card. And remember, all the measurements will be listed over on creativemomentsbyg.com. So you can head over there at the end of this video and just click on my blog. Your base card is going to be eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a fourth. And now we're going to mix our creation, our suds and bubbles. So you need to go ahead and lay down something, a mat or something that you can get wet. Bring in two plastic cups. You don't want to use paper because it will eventually leak through the paper and it will just make a mess. The next thing you need is some suds. Now you can use Dawn, Palmolive, whatever suds that you have that will really create some bubbles. So let's go ahead and pour this into our water. And we're just pouring a little bit. If that's not enough, you can always come back in and add some more suds, right? Now, the secret ingredient. You're going to take your refills and you're going to pick one or two colors that you're going to be working with. Now we went ahead and we picked Gorgeous Grape and Flirty Flamingo to create this beautiful background. So you can go ahead and put in, I say about 10 drops. And if that's not enough, you can always go back in and add some more. Now we are simply going to stir our first color and we can put this one to the side. Now I have cut a mat that I want to decorate with these suds and bubbles. So let's go ahead and just create some bubbles. Okay. Now just simply take your paper to the bubbles. Don't worry about how it looks. Now let's add some more bubbles. You just keep going over your paper. Be careful not to touch the cup because it will create a ring on your paper. And if it's not as dark as you want, you can add some more. Now I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to bring in my other color. Now first I'm going to get the color out of this straw or you can also use another straw. And now we're going to stir this flirty flamingo and create our bubbles. And I just want to get kind of a two-tone going. I need this corner right here. And remember that's a much lighter color. I think I'm going to add just a few more drops and I'm going to bubble up this area right here. We're going to bring in our heat embosser to go ahead and set it. Now I'm simply going to remove my sheet and we're going to get another sheet of paper. And now we're going to go ahead and stamp this mat before we put it on our card. Because I have chosen a little light area right here on our mat, I'm going to use this to stamp our message and we are going to stamp that in Blackberry Bliss. So we're going to stamp just right on top of our mat, our background that we created. And now we are going to bring in beautiful stamps from 
Wisteria Wishes. Oh my goodness, this is a beautiful stamp set. You're going to love it. My mother loved the Wisteria plant and she always had those and they're just so beautiful. So let's go ahead and bring in our green leaf and stamp in Granny Apple Green. And just run it right across the top. And you will need to bring in some additional leaves. So let's just go ahead and do that. Now, another tip. We don't want the stem of this leaf. We're going to use a post-it note to make sure that we do not get the stem. And now let's come in with the beautiful wisteria. This stamp has three of the flowers on it. So we're gonna line those up. We're gonna line them up over here. And now we're going to bring in our other stamp and give some definition to the wisteria. Oh, this is what really makes it pop. Now, something else you can do, you can stamp off and stamp on again, and that will create some depth to your wisteria. So we're just going to go ahead and stamp off, and then just very lightly stamp again. Look at that. It almost looks like watercolor. Those suds and bubbles that we created, oh my goodness, is so pretty. Now let's go ahead and just add this to our card. I'm gonna lay down our mat. Now, on this one, you can add glue or you can use a tape runner. And I think I'm going to go ahead and use a tape runner. I'm going to bring in my silicone mat and I'm going to get tape all the way across. And you don't have to worry about this sticking because you can just run your finger over it and it comes right off. Now we're just going to add this to the front of our card. And look at that card. Now stay with us because I have two more cards to show you, but let's go ahead and stamp a little flower right here, a little part of the wisteria plant and the green so that we can decorate the inside of our card. And bring in our wisteria again. And now we're going to bring in the definition to really make it pop. And we are going to add this to the inside of our card. Now, before we show you the other two cards that we created that we know you're gonna love, we want to appreciate all our crafting friends who watch our videos and comment. So, make sure that you make comments below and you like. We are going to have a drawing on Friday the 13th. And we are going to select two people to receive some Happy Mail, which will include a stamp set. So we're going to randomly select from all the likes and all the comments. So make sure that you go below this video and leave us a comment because we love hearing from our crafting friends. Now back to the design table. Okay, so this card we absolutely love. Look at those suds and bubbles. That background is so pretty. Now let me show you another one. We used the stamp set, but we just used the cutouts. Look at that background. A much lighter background, but oh, so pretty. Look at that. And finally, we did a short little area on the front of our card, used our suds and bubbles technique, and created this landscape card. Well, we hope you loved this technique. A little bit of ink refill, 
a little bit of suds, and you too can create those bubbles for your background. Go out, make it a fantastic day. Remember to like and comment, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.